David Lee Roth has responded to the insulting comments that Gene Simmons made against him recently. Well, during an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Gene Simmons confirmed that the Van Halen frontmen would no longer be supporting Kiss on their farewell tour. But Simmons did concede, it bears noting that during Dave's heyday, nobody did what he did. He went on to say that David Lee Roth was once the ultimate frontman, adding, not Robert Plant, not Rod Stewart, nobody. He took being a frontman way beyond anything. Simmons then suggested that the singer was no longer in his prime, telling Rolling Stone magazine, I don't know what happened to him, something. And then you get modern day Dave. Gene Simmons went on to say, I prefer to remember Elvis Presley in his prime, sneering lips, back in Memphis, you know, doing all that. I don't want to think of bloated, naked Elvis on the bathroom floor. Well, on August 20th, David Lee Roth shared a black and white image of a child flipping the bird. A simple message on the black and white photo, which he shared 18 times on his profile, reads, Roth to Simmons. In an interview with a Brazilian journalist about a month ago, Sammy Hagar let out his frustrations against David Lee Roth, saying that he was a good performer in his day, he's entertaining, he's quirky, but he's just not what he used to be. And he didn't think he's really showing his authentic personality. He also went on to criticize David Lee Roth and say he doesn't get into relationships and he doesn't have children and he just seems to be uh, putting on this this front as a friendly guy, but he's really not. He's very standoffish, but it's important to note that David Lee Roth did date Apollonia Cotero, the co-star of the Purple Rain film with Prince. Apollonia Cotero made this known in a recent interview that Prince did not want the people to know that Apollonia, his love interest in the movie, was actually dating David Lee Roth in real life. As you can see, Prince was also very much influenced by David Lee Roth. But one thing for sure is you've got to give David Lee Roth credit for going out there and just singing without all this technology. <laughs> He just puts it out there. They're going to replace David Lee Roth's opening act at the KISS final tour with a painter. I don't know. I'm really going to miss that because there was a great connection between David Lee Roth and KISS because Gene Simmons actually recognized the talents of Van Halen and had them in and they recorded several songs together before Van Halen's album came out. So it's sad to see that the feud is escalating, but I wonder what Gene will say next in this ever-growing feud that seems to be garnishing a lot of news media. Posting this thing 18 times was a bit overkill. We've come to expect an overreaction from David Lee Roth. That's what makes him a great front man and a volatile personality. Meanwhile, KISS has officially announced the details of their upcoming Las Vegas residency. It marks the band's second residency in the Nevada City, having embarked on a nine-date run at the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in 2014. Well, that stint was released as the KISS Rocks Vegas concert two years later. Gene Simmons said in a recent interview that the new Vegas shows will give the group a very nice payday, but it's also easier for the band because you don't have the wear and tear of traveling, he said. Well, I guess the end of the road is pretty long. Nonetheless, we wish David Lee Roth all the best. And remember to keep on listening to Kiss and Van Halen. And don't forget to keep on rocking. Bye now.